Okay guys, I'm back again with the Royal Ginger 2.3.3 ROM with the without sense or anything, no sense, just stock Android. So you're on the home screen. Um, this is fancy widget. Looks like the HTC clock, but it's just a widget you can download, and it comes with this live wallpaper already on it. Modified version of the neural network. So here we are. It's pretty much. It looks stock to me. There's some optimizations like that right there. Usually the animation is much slower, but I can tell they sped that up. Um, again, this is really going to be a very brief review because there's not much to really say about ROMs. Cause I, they're so brief because I'm on XD developers, and I'm assuming since you guys are looking at these, you guys have a pretty, you know, under, pretty much of an understanding of how these ROMs, how to use the phone and everything, so I'm not going to go through like the other reviews do and show you how YouTube works and everything because that's all a given. Everything pretty much works on here. Um, one thing that does work on here that didn't work in the other two ROMs that I reviewed was is the CRT off animation. See, everybody loves this. It's one of my favorites as well. It's just so it's just really cool to see on a phone because you don't really get it unless you have the Nexus S or unless you um, unless you you know modify the ROM. So it's cool to see when people when people pick up your phone and they're playing with it and then they go to shut it off they see that they're like whoa that's kinda cool so it's just one of those things um... this is, you can tell this is the stock thing because i'm pinching here and it doesn't even do that so it's really snippy it doesn't come with anything on here so I, I would have to add things on there again this does this is what has the 4g thing which i like a lot one thing i don't like about these is the battery because i can't really tell what percentage it is so i'm not sure whether or not i should charge my phone or not so because that that to me looks like fifty percent, but then we go let's whatever the settings. Mm -hmm. About phone. Uh, battery use in there, no. Status fifty two percent. So yeah, it's just about fifty percent. Um so again that's much lower than I when I first started. Again, these are all continuous videos. If you're watching my other two videos from before, I'm, I am just flashing the ROMs and going with it, so it is using up pretty much a lot of my battery. So, not much to really say. It, it is really snippy, even with this live wallpaper running, no lag whatsoever, which is not unexpected from a really good device like this. This comes with the DSP manager, the stock Android, the stock Android messaging. You know, comes with Termomini, terminal emulator. XDA app uh, comes with Netflix, which is really cool. But I don't have a Netflix account, or, or I don't. I neither do I use Netflix, so I don't really have much of use for it. But I never really opened this before. This is a big trending topic on the threads too. Next develop XD developers that I saw. Um, I don't have an account, so I probably won't be able to get very far with this. But just to show you that it actually opens, so I don't never really used Netflix and never really had a reason to use it, I might take a look at it just because everybody's using it and all my friends use it. So, we are on, get the stock browser. Not that big of a deal. Uh, so yeah, I like this ROM. Um, I, I think I used it for a few days, a while ago, but I got you know, everybody gets bored with their ROMs, so they flash a new one. I'm not saying it's a bad ROM. I just like to try all the different kinds of ROMs. I think for today I'm going to try the my, the MiWi ROM. But anyway, so this is this ROM. Uh, not much to say. It's really lightweight. I couldn't tell you how much memory is free unless I go. Let's check out how much memory is free. And go to applications. Manage applications. Running. So tell us here. Yeah, we got 466 megabytes of RAM free. So that's not that bad. That's really lightweight. I think on the other ROM, I only I could only get 300 something, maybe closer to two, closer to 200 something, 300 beginning of 300s. So that's that's really a really good advantage over having a stock ROM. So not much here. If you want to see more again, just let me know. Comment, like leave comments. Excuse me, leave your own reviews. Do whatever. I'm just giving you an overall. Look at the ROM to see if you you know if you want to like it if you like it or not if or if you want to give it a try, but these I'm just giving you the basic things that I look at when I flash a new ROM before I decide if I want to keep it or not. So I bait I just look at whether or not like this lags and how fast it is if this lags, 
you know, if, if messaging lags is the big thing, doesn't lag, no lag whatsoever, calling, there you go, search, I missed it, search, there you go, not much lag, this comes with swipe, so, again, this is me signing off of another review, just giving you quick overviews of ROMs, if you want more in-depth ROMs, please leave comments, I will do it. I will show you everything. I'm just doing a quick overscan of everything that's going on. So I'm signing off and see you guys later.